What's up everybody, Gaming Gargle here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a new series on the channel, game, uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 with all its bugs and glitches. Still available on Steam. Um, as always, links, more info and goodies are in the description below. Enough of the blah blah blahs. Let's get this brand new series started. Let's start with a profile. New profile. Um, what are we going to call it? The Gargoyle. Garage. All right. All right. We'll select it. New game. Oh no! Back now. New game. Make sure you want to delete your current progress and start over. Yeah, sure. reason why it's been a couple days is that we are on patch, what, I think number 8 today? So, I do apologize for it not being out on release date. However, I did read the Steam forums for the first 25, 30 minutes after the game's released, and yeah, apparently it was pretty much unplayable at the time, so um, I didn't want to stress things out or anything, so I just kept playing um, uh, the Sailors on the channel, so welcome to the second series. I'm thinking about maybe bringing in the third. What do you guys think? I have three videos released today. Hmm, let's see. Well, this is nice. Greetings. Welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. See the new fully unlocked garage and check the operations of the various parts of the workshop. At any time, you can finish the tutorial by taking the car for a test drive. Good luck. Okay. All right, so this is a tutorial then, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oil drain, allows the disposal of used oil. Failure to, failure to use it can result in additional charges for cleaning up spilt oil, okay. New equipment, use equipment, all right. What do we got here? Toolbox, here you can make improvements that you can obtain together with gaining further levels. Oh, I thought I highlighted that, okay. Guess not. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Engine stand allows for mounting and free access to the engine. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Add engine, rotate engine, rotate button. Okay. No items to work with. Okay. What else we got? Oh, repair table. Right? Yeah, repair table. Gives you a chance to repair and wear out parts. And another toolbox. What's this? Tire changer wheel balancer. Used to mount the tire on the rim and then balance the entire wheel. Alright. Okay. Comes as a setup. One and two. Gotcha. Uh, what else is here? Do we have any welders? Oh, that's just a jack stand for stability. What else we got over here? Ooh, paint shop. Oh, dyno. Ooh, yeah, I saw propane. Uh, acetylene? Don't know what that is. CO2, maybe? Alright, what do we got here? Oh, can we go upstairs? Oh, couch. Wait a minute. Not a PlayStation controller. Not in my shop, ladies and gentlemen. PC all the way. Interior detailing toolkit allows you to repair and touch up elements of the car's interior. Hmm, excellent. So it's called a vacuum. Got it. Here's a battery charger used to charge batteries. Okay. And let's go into the office. There we go. Computer. Part notes, inventory, orders, photo mode. Take photos of whatever you want and share them with community. Right on. In the menu, you can adjust game settings. And quickly access the workshop computer. Okay. Tablet. Oh, good to know. Uh, what else we got in here? Printer, laptop. Nothing that says past due. Okay. Order. Press the right mouse button and select order from the pie menu, then select the order that you're interested in and accept it. When you accept the selection of the order, 
The car automatically appears in your driveway using the menu pie. After approaching the car, you can view the car card. Okay. More of the same thing as the computer. Nothing over here. Alright. <clears throat> Are we missing anything? Oh, there's the welder. Allows you to repair the elements of the bodywork which cannot be removed. Okay. There's another toolbox. We've already scanned that. Ooh, engine hoist. Engine crane. Used to remove the entire engine from the vehicle. Alright. Tires. Danger. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Okay, I think that's that's about it. What's over here? Oh, phone. Click to use. No more jobs right now. Okay. Do I have a job? Uh, I inventory. I got nothing for inventory. Um Body disassemble mode. Click to use, hold to take off part. Mm, what's this car need? How do we check our orders? I'm pressing O. Inventory, I see. Oh, we can crouch. Excellent. Alright, well, it's. I'm not sure. Interior disassemble, car status, assemble mode, move car, overview mode. No, not what I was looking for. Parts notes, inventory, car status. There we go. What are we supposed to do? Oh. We can sell it. I don't think I want to do that. Oh boy, not intuitive controls at all. You know what? Let's just move this car to where? Test path, parking, paint shop, garage entrance. Uh, let's take it on the test path, shall we? Okay, I thought that would be. Like a racing track thing. Where would the test path be? Painting shop. Offers you possibility to perform various painting works. Woo! I just went through a door. Okay, a little bit of clipping there. Okay, we went to the test path. Where is the test path? There's another blue door over here. Exit to parking. Uh, I don't want to go to parking. Test path? Settings menu? No, 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 no. Photo mode? No, no, no. There we go. Main gate map. Using the map, you can choose where you want to drive. Select the test track to test the auto. Get closer. There we go. Sure. Test track. Take the Audi. No oil in the engine cannot perform this action. Okay. So we gotta fix it up, I guess. Alright. Where's the car, though? Send it to the test path. Where's the test path? Let's see, what do we got over here? Parts warehouse. A lot of starting parts you don't need. Long with growing demand, you can increase the warehouse area. Oh, excellent. Test path. Oh, there's some red doors over here. Let's go check this out. Path test. Allows you to test cars, brake and suspension. All right. Where are we going up here? All right. Start the car. of the car. Uh, let's just 
just move the car onto the lift. Let's put some oil in it. So that means we're going to have to change the oil filter. Where are we? Oops. Spring cooler. Oh, I didn't know that. Use compressed shock absorbers. Alright. Oh, there's quite a bit of equipment in this game. Very nice. Alright, let's go in here and go hood. Oh, no, wrong one. And we want the engine. A lot to do. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Oh, there we go. If I were an oil filter, I'm probably just not so there we go. Oil filter. Car mount, examine tools, examine mode, car status, inventory. I want to disassemble. There you go. I'm holding the takeoff part and it's not working. Alright, you know what? Let's just go ahead and just add some oil. Uh, oil bag. <clears throat> Let's see, does it automatically stop or am I going to overfill it? I said it was out of oil. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like it automatically stops. Nice. Okay. Now what? Uh, let's close the hood. Garage entrance A. Yes. Yeah, it's probably should close the hood. Right click it? Yes, there we go. No. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait a minute, no, we just go to the door, I bet. Uh, wrong button. Jeez. I won't get used to this. This is not intuitive at all. Let's do the test track. With the Audi. Alright, here we go. Woo! So, test track. Let's see what we can do. Loading, loading, loading. Keep those times of running right. Test track. Used to check the performance of the car. Test the car steering, suspension, and braking. Okay. Acceleration test. Here we come. Okay. Car needs brakes. tutorial start game yes please okay that would be so much nicer if that was uh, uh, controller compatible that was not very nice at all all right so let's see here this is this is our garage guys welcome to our garage okay so we got a toolbox we do have a wheel balancer so I don't see engine hoist I don't see a lot of things except we do have a tire changer we have our toolbox oh spring puller I see the spring puller okay and that's just a stabilizer oil change another toolbox oh that oh this must be level one repair bench hello clicky 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 uh, okay how about I'm gonna take a phone call Computer, paint, nope, no sniffing paint, guys. Kenny, Kenny, you didn't clean up, man. Kenny, look, I know you're camera shy, dude, but come on, there's there's litter everywhere. Can you clean this place up? 
Well, I guess we can't make money without uh, getting clients. But let's just, I want to see what's interesting here. So level one, 50% faster part examination. Okay. Faster screwing and unscrewing. So, oh, level two. We are level, no, it's experience. Okay, XP, I'm guessing that's level one. We have two calls waiting, maybe? Is that what that is? Phone? And we have about four grand, so. All right, so faster part installing and removing. I like that one. 10% walking faster. Uh, I could care less. 5% discount in shops. Hey, that's pretty cool. So level three, I wonder how many points you get per. Level four, expands your garage, adds path test and repair table to your garage. Oh, nice. And repair chance raised. Unlocks tire tread tester. You can use to discover tires condition. You can use it through pie menu in while in part otherwise. Okay. Instantly examine three parts when first time seeing a car. Order bar and junkyard auction. No thanks. Tablet. Unlocks tablet. Gives you access to shop anywhere. To shop? Oh, shop. Shop. Inventory shop. Okay. Anywhere in your garage. You can use it through pie menu or clicking T. One moment. Sorry about that. All right. So let's just... uh. Unlock upgrade and reset point. Oh, you can reset points. Even nicer. Okay. So I think the first thing we want to do is the screwing and then the pa faster part installing and removing. So let's take a car. Let's see. We have a normal order with an Audi A3 or a Volkswagen Golf, which is a story order and no bonus. 100% repair with minimal part condition, 100%. Let's go with this one. How do you do that? Take its brake problems. And they give us a list, apparently. So, and we don't have the test path. But we do have a test track, but I'm not a big fan of that. So let's just go ahead and get this up on a hoist. I guess we only have one car, or one car lifter, huh? Alright, so let's take a look. What's our order? the car's condition. Uh, body disassemble mode, no, don't want that. Yeah, okay, let's see, overview mode, no, 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 parts notes, inventory, car status. I think there's a hotkey for that. Okay, so brake caliper, brake disc ventilated, and brake pads. But only brake pads. Okay. So, no oil, no nothing else like that. Alright, uh, we're on the lifter. Car lift, click to use. Uh, that's kind of low. There we go. Mm, that's kind of high, but alright. We want disassemble mode. Oh, we are in disassemble mode. Alright, so we want to walk up to the tire. Uh, I don't want to do that. Car load. Click to work on it. Uh, one check. Part mount, examine mode. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, there's something definitely wrong with here. Alright, so let's take off part. I'm holding. Uh, exam mode? How about... Is there any hotkeys for anything in this game? Um, let's go to... Yeah, there. Focus on the part. Right click. Part mount. Part unmount. There we go. Focus on the part, okay. Okay, interesting. Not intuitive at all. Okay, so definitely need to take care of the brake caliper. Alright, okay, I understand this game now. Alright, we'll get the hang of it, guys. Click to focus on the part, and then... Press and hold to remove it. Alright. 
Now we need to do the examine mode again, right? So how do we do that? Oh, there's inventory. Uh, examine mode. So that was toast too. All right. Assemble load. Sure. Why is it stuck on body? Tablet. Normal mode. Thank you. There we go. Now let's take off the part. Okay. So, now if we go... Parts notes. Add parts. Okay. What just happened? Parts notes. I want to add to list. I'm not sure what's going on here. But you know what? We're going to go to computer. going to get the inventory so first things first let's go I so brake caliper is bad brake pads are good no it's the condition so we need brisk that no, ventilated and a caliper Rims, nope, main, body, tire, license plate, and interior. I think we need main. And we want brakes, and so we want a caliper. One ventilated disc brake. And I think that's it for there. Oop. Now, if I go to... No idea what the heck that's going on there, but I want car status. Car status. There we go. Brake caliper, ventilator, brake pads. Brake pads. Poor brake performance. Let's put it. This says brake pads. Alright. Let's just go over here and see what's going on. Alright. Click to work on it. Now, click to focus on part. Okay, hold on here. Now we want to part mount. Okay, I don't like this taking forever thing. We want this one. Okay, now focus on the part. Put on the brake pads. Caliper. Are you sure you want them small? Yeah. Okay, we got that going. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now, if we want out of here, oh, looks like we've got to press escape, okay, now, uh, no, I want to put the tire on. There we go, okay. Once again, this game is not intuitive at all, and I can understand why they're... Well, anyway, back up, so the view isn't so close. Okay, back up, thank you. Right click the car, car status. Brake pads, alright, so... 
Let's go over here. And go overview status, right? No. Overview mode. Where is There's the brake pads on this car. Brake pads. There we go. Oh, there we go. Condition. Okay, I see the condition down the corner. Brake pads are unknown. Alright, that's interesting. What the? You know what? Remove, remove. Get rid of that crap. Alright, escape out. That's going on. How many times do you have to escape out? You can't right click? Oh my gosh. And the controller is absolutely atrocious. Okay. So let's try it again. We are not in the one that we want to work on. We want to work on overview mode. Okay. Then click on the part. Overview car parts using this mode. Assemble mode. Disassemble, car status, inventory, parts notes, overview mode. There we go, thank you. There is the brake pad down here. Ah, here it is. All right, this is the one. Okay, so now we go to our unmount. Focus on here. Oh, I did it again. Thank you. There we go. We got it. We got it. Brake caliper. Let's check the gameplay settings and see if there's anything that we can do for one clicks and stuff like that. Alright, let's take off these brake pads. Alright, escape, escape. Oh, nope. Over to the garage. Or to the computer, sorry. Wow, let's order ourselves a brake pad. Escape. Be nice when we can get everything testing and all that. Okay, so on it now we want to go to parts overview, part mount. We want to do brake pads. New ones, please. Right caliper. Good work. Okay, so then we want to do the tire next, right? Classic. Oh, should we do this in the star pattern just for all those? No, I don't claim to be a mechanic, but I have worked on a few of my cars. Alright, so. Escape out, right click, status of the car. Ding, ding, ding. Alright, let's lower it down. And see what we get for the cash. How do you lower it? There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, apparently it's only got two settings once it's on there. Right click, let's move the car to 
garage entrance A. So there we go. Let's get ourselves a bit of a screenshot opportunity. There we go. So let's go ahead now. Check the order for... So it is completed, 100%. Order, factory order, color mileage, excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and get our Audi finished. All right, still level 119 experience out of 307, but that's going to do it, folks. As always, if you like, comment, subscribe. I will keep on making the videos as much as I can. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank mm -hmm. you.